Here is how you turn on a new Arvanillo. You take this mechanical stake and you put it in the side here and then you turn it counterclockwise which is counterintuitive. Goes through and shows you all the LCDs that are available. Uh, then tells you what the software version is, 2.0, what your battery power is, 70%. And now it's giving us the option to switch into group check mode, which I did not take advantage of. I'll show you that later. And then it starts transmitting, sending out a signal. Whenever you see that LCD on, the signal is live. It's hot. It's going out. When now, if just after you turn the Neo on, you want to do a group check. You can do that when the CH appears. And then you press the flag button. Now it's in um, group check mode. And I can see that there's a signal kind of close. Uh, when I get it a little bit closer, ah, I'll get an audio tone. So I know that uh, there is a beacon within a meter, and that's what happens in group check mode, is it changes the receive range to only one meter, so you can only check people that are really close to you, like when they're cruising by you, going out the trail. Okay, to switch to send for the Arvanil, you just slide this switch up on the right, search mode, goes into big search mode. I've got some beacons nearby, stage nearby already. So one of them is less than three meters away. Oh, look at that. That tells me I'm close enough that if I want, I can mark that signal and ignore it. Oh, and now it just noticed there is a second beacon, which I knew there was, and which you should know if you're in a search situation where you plan to save anyone, you should know how many people you lost already. Um, and so now I can mark, just by pressing this flag button momentarily, the closest signal. Now the other signal looks like it's about six and a half, seven meters away, uh, dead ahead. Or maybe, you know, because we're within 10 meters, that is it probably a curved path. And it may actually be off to the left or the right.